This video is sponsored by Great Escape Games, the largest gaming venue in the greater Sacramento area, servicing its customers since 1996. Hey everyone, welcome to the Casual Sweat. I'm Cozy Wentz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I painted Agent Venom for Marvel Crisis Protocol. In this video, I'll mainly be using contrast paints because I want to get him up the tabletop standard as quick as possible. Alright, let's jump into it. I started by priming the model in black. I decided that I wanted to do a slap chop method for painting him. For everyone here who doesn't know what slap chop is, I'm sure you can find plenty of videos on YouTube. But basically you just dry brush gray and white on a black model and then use contrast or speed paints. For me, I'm skipping dry brushing him in gray, and I'm just going to start dry brushing him in white. Because the model is majority black, it's not going to create that much of a differential between the dry brush of the white parts and the black parts. It'll just make the recessed areas really, really dark. But more importantly, the slap chop method is going to work really nice for the base, that wall or whatever he's like attached to by the tentacles. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and dry brush this model in white until it gets to a very bright white coverage. finish dry brushing the model in white, I'm going to move on to painting the wall that's on his base. I'm going to be using the Skeleton Horde contrast paint. I kind of want the wall to look like sandstone or to look like a beige wall that's been pretty dirty. And the nice thing about the fact that we dry brushed white on top of black primer is when I do this, it's going to show the cracks and some of the dirtier parts looking really dark. The brush that I started using was a little bit too small and fine tipped for me, so I'm just going to move over to the Army Painter brush that I got when I bought the Speed Paint set. I'm not going to worry about being too careful when applying this, this contrast paint. That's because it's easy to cover up with other paints. So when I go to paint the tentacles or I go to paint the metal or the base, the paint that I'm going to be using for that will easily go over this skeleton horde. After Skeleton Horde has dried, I'm going to move on to painting all of Agent Venom in Black Templar contrast paint. The one thing that I dislike about Black con uh, Templar contrast paint, but I like for Agent Venom, is that it has this like bluish or purplish tint to it. It's not like a black black, it's kind of like a blue black, but it's very subtle. But for Agent Venom, it's perfect because we want him to have like a hinted undertone of another color. While I'm applying the Black Templar Contrast paint onto Agent Venom, I'm going to try to avoid 
the white parts of his costume as much as possible. But if I do cover up some of the white parts, it's not a big deal because we're going to come back and cover them up with white later on anyways. I'm also going to take this Black Templar contrast paint and paint the metal part that's on the wall, the, the spiky things. Uh, because I'm going to cover that up with a metalish looking color later on anyways. So again, you don't need to be super careful while applying this to Agent Venom, but you don't want to cover up the white parts all too much.
as I mentioned before, we're going to come in with some white and we're going to cover up all of the white areas on Agent Venom that had been covered up, as well as the part that's still Pryorant, just because we want the white on him to look consistently throughout. Kind of a little painting tip for me, I don't know if this works for other people, but painting like the spider on his chest it can be hard to get small lines or even edge highlighting, but I think it's important to just move in one motion, motion that's like the most comfortable. So when I paint, painting left to right is a little bit harder for me, while painting up or down, specifically down, is easier. So I'll turn the model upside down so I can paint at a direction that's more comfortable. Also another little tip, uh, the white parts of Agent Venom on his back and his front, just like the normal Venom model, connect, so you're going to want to paint the white strips underneath each arm. And you can see that I get a little white on the dried black Templar. I like to keep a brush off to the side and dip it in water and I could wipe away any of the paint that gets where I don't want it to be. The next step is that I'm going to come in with the Black Templar that we used and I'm going to line up the white parts that I just painted. Because I'm not able to get rid of all of the white with a wet brush or because I want it to look sh super sharp, so I'll come back in and just line it out with the Black Templar. And I'll kind of go back and forth between lining it with white and lining it with Black Templar until I can get it exactly where I want it to be.
for the metal parts, I've been kind of moving away from non-metallic metal. In all honesty, my non-metallic metal painting is really poor. Part of that's because I don't have a lot of patience and I'm kind of speed painting them. But I've been using a whitened down version of Dark Sea Blue. And I wanted the top of all the gun parts as well as the metal on the wall of the base to have the metal on it. So I'm going to just kind of like dry brush-ish it onto those parts. And the parts on the guns that I don't like and even the parts where the metal connects I'll come back in with Black Templar later on and line it out. And then you want to work your way up adding a little bit more white to this dark sea blue and white mix until it gets to a point where you can contrast it the way that you'd like. Moving to the concrete on the base, I'm just going to use whatever gray acrylic paint that I have. I like to buy cheap gray acrylic paints and that's what I'll just cover all over the base that's not the wall. Once that gray has dried, I'm going to come in with some null oil and we're just going to put as much null oil as we want all around that, filling in all the recesses and all the cracks. Later on in the video, you'll see me dry brush this to, to bring it back up. I also wanted to darken the model all around, so I'll apply some null oil to the metal parts and to Agent Venom himself, and then we'll highlight it back up as well. This is the part where I'm applying the Black Templar back onto the gun. That way it's just the top strip of the gun that are a different color. I wanted the wall to pop a little bit more, so I took some Tyrant School dry paint from Citadel, and I'm just going to dry brush it on the corners and a little bit more of the wall to make it defined.
that, I'm going to take the same gray that we used to paint the base, and I'm going to dry brush this as well, just bringing it back up a little bit so it's not just covered in null oil. Lastly, we're just going to put a black strip around. I like to use the Gundam pens, and for some of the cracks in the base that I want to be a little bit darker, I'll just dry that in too, and then wipe it away. It's a pretty quick, easy, and efficient way to do the ring on the base and, and that little lip part. I don't really have to worry about it getting anywhere else on the base. And if it does, I can just wipe it off with my finger. Lastly, I sprayed the model with some Army Painter matte varnish, but for some reason, I'm not sure if it's the white that I use or if it's the matte varnish itself, but every time I spray the model, the white becomes slightly transparent, as you can see on the left side. So on the right side, I just went back over the white and lined it up a little bit more and then sprayed it with matte varnish again. Our finish, Agent Venom, who was pretty quick and easy to paint. If you didn't want to do the deep sea blue combo on the gun, I recommend just using gunmetal and then like dry brushing it with white. Again, this is just to get your model up to tabletop standard so you can start gaming with the model as soon as possible. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.